Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a review and swatches on the Makeup Geek quads at Target. Um, I actually have four of them and I'm pretty excited for this because initially when these came out, I wasn't sure if I was going to get any, but I eventually got one and fell in love with it so much that I purchased three more. These have been out for several months and Makeup Geek did change to square pans from round pans and they called it a rebrand. Um, which I'll get into that as far as the formula because I do want to compare it to some older Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I have and two of the colors, I actually have the color from older formula from the round pans. So yeah, let's just get into it. At Target, they sell six different ones of these little quads, and they are $14.99 each for four eyeshadows, and they also sell these on the Makeup Geek website. So you could purchase it there, or you can just buy their eyeshadows individually on the Makeup Geek website and create your own palette with that. These are magnetic, so as you can see, there's like a space in there. You can easily pop these out. I just, I do actually have a little depotting tool, but you can just use a tweezers or whatever. They pop right out. They are magnetic. So I actually had these in another palette and I put them back in here for this video. Before I get into the swatches of the quads that I have, let me just talk about the formula difference compared to the older Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This is the In The Nude palette and this one does have Grand Stand, which I do have in a quad over here and here i have this is coco bear all of these older makeup geek eyeshadows i purchased two years ago pretty much two years ago exactly and actually at that time they released quads at target as well and i did a review of that on my channel also which was yeah two years ago and i'll just say i don't think that there is a big difference i think that they look the same on the eye and perform the same the only thing is that the newer ones they do seem to be just a bit more smooth, the mattes and the metallics, but it is possible that these I just purchased in the last couple of months, these are brand new eyeshadows and my older Makeup Geek eyeshadows are two years old. That may be the only difference, you know? So I don't really consider this a rebrand because to me, it doesn't seem like they reformulated. Maybe they did, I really can't say for certain, but honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it because I love the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. It's been one of my favorite formulas in the last few years. The mattes are very easy to blend. These foiled shades are so metallic. You don't even need a wet brush. I love the formula and I feel exactly the same way about the new quads and the new formula. They are absolutely fantastic, which is why I purchased more after I initially bought that one. So yeah. Formula wise, they are great. The old one was great too. Mattes are great, shimmers are great, metallics are great. I have no complaints about that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the formula. Let's get back into the quads. Now I have four, but one of them, I will say that the one that's called All of You, which is the green, the shimmer shade came totally shattered. Target did give me my money back because I ordered some of these online and some of them I bought in store. They did not package these very well, unfortunately. So that one came totally shattered. Um, and then this one, you can see in there, this one came partially shattered, but it was fine. So I didn't ask for a refund on that one. So I'm missing one of the eyeshadows. Now let's just go ahead and start talking about the colors. The first one is the one that I bought at first when these first came out. This I did find in store. And this one is called Orange Crush. And this has some really popular Makeup Geek shades in there. This is Peach Smoothie. Let's just start swatching these. Um, and my whole eye look today is actually using these shadows. So I'll tell you which ones that I am wearing. All right, this quad, I will say one thing about it though, I'm a little bit confused because this eyeshadow here they say is flamethrower which is a very popular foiled shade by makeup geek they've had it for a while since they came out with their eyeshadows to begin with but on the back of mine it says heat wave so i don't really know because i actually looked up some older videos where people were talking about flamethrower and it looks similar to this but it looks a little bit different so if you have this please let me know what does it say on the back of your pan does it say heat wave or does it say flamethrower 
I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's get into the swatches. The first one is Peach Smoothie. And there it is right there. It's a matte peach shade. This is the one that is supposed to be flamethrower. Mine says heat wave. I don't know what's up with that. Then we have Chickadee, this matte shade. This is also a very popular shade by them. And then this matte red is a brick house. And in my crease today, I do have peach smoothie and Chickadee. And then the matte shade is another one that I'll show you. This one is beautiful. I mean, look how foiled this metallic shade. Fantastic, these mattes blend so easily. I'm really, really impressed with this formula. It is great. Um, let me just talk about the olive one because unfortunately, like I said, I don't have the metallic one anymore. It was totally crumbled, but I'll just show you them individually. <laughs> so this one had three matte shades and they all seem to have one foiled metallic shade and three mattes. So the olive one, this is a latte. This is a matte brown. It's definitely a taupey type brown. This one is really nice. And it almost does have a bit of a green into it. This one is called Olive You. This is a matte green. This is gorgeous. And then the last one is a very dark matte green. This is Enchanted Forest. This one I know that they've had for a while because I've heard people talking about this color on YouTube. And yeah, these are beautiful. All right, so those are the three mattes from the green quad and yes, fantastic. I wish I had the green shade because it was a beautiful like foiled green with a hint of yellowy gold in it. Gorgeous. So maybe I will get that at some point, but yes, these mattes are fantastic. Let's talk about the quad called Choco Latte. This one I was very excited because this has Grandstand in it, which is my favorite eyeshadow of all time. And I officially own two of them now. And then this color down here is the one that used to be called Coco Bear. It's now called Cheetah Bear. Um, so I'm going to actually swatch the two old shades next to the new ones, just so you can see if there's a difference at all. Alrighty, here are the swatches. So this is Grandstand and this is the old Grandstand. To me, they look exactly the same. And like I said, this is one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. And one day I actually wore the old one on one eye and the new one, or no, wait, this is the new one. That's the old one on two different eyes. I wore it all day, like 11 hours. They looked exactly the same. I'll show you a picture. No difference at all. They wore the same, they looked the same completely identical, which is good because, like I said, it's my favorite eyeshadow, so I really didn't want them to mess it up. Um, okay, and then this matte shade, this is Creme Brulee. I was very excited about this quad because I've always wanted Creme Brulee. It is one of the most hyped up shades by Makeup Geek. It's a very simple matte brown. It's a very light, but it's a really good blending shade, and I have a little bit of that in my crease today. And then here is the one that is now called Cheetah Bear and next to formerly known as Coco Bear. And to me, they do look pretty much the same. This almost seems a little darker, but I may have just swatched it a little bit harder with my finger. Here they are next to each other. Maybe the old one is a bit darker, but just barely. I mean, just barely, not much of a difference. I think they're pretty much the same, maybe half a shade darker on the old one but it performs the same. And this is the color I have all over my lid and a little bit in the crease as well. And then the last shade is a darker chocolatey brown. It almost has a bit of green in it. That is called Coffee Before Talky. And this is gorgeous. Yeah, I have backups of these shades now, but they're two of my favorite eyeshadows, so I'm perfectly okay with that. As you can see, this grandstand did come a little bit broken but it was fine. I gotta say, Target needs to work on shipping their makeup because these were, there was a bit of bubble wrap in the box, but it was just mostly like a free floating eyeshadow in a cardboard box, which yeah, that's gonna break. So yeah, but this is a gorgeous, very neutral quad, but Grandstand, I mean, honestly, if you don't have the shade Grandstand, I would recommend this the most out of all of them. Obviously, this is the most neutral and, you know, I think a lot of people would like it, but that shade is so foiled and I do not need a wet brush. Like I said, none of these, I need a wet brush. I sometimes do it anyway, just to intensify it, but 
I really don't need it. That one is amazing. Last up is the quad called Tickled Pink. This one I was very excited about because this has cupcake in it, which is also a very favorite uh, Makeup Geek shade that's been popular for many years. and I've always wanted it. And yeah, it is a really nice pink. So this is a very pinky quad. And let me swatch these. All right, the top metallic is called Whimsical. Then we have Cupcake and then a darker matte pink that is called Pinky Promise, and then a dark, dark brown that is called Give Me the Dirt. This one is gorgeous. This foiled shade is so beautiful on the eyes. I've worn it without wetting the brush and it looks just as foiled. The mattes, just like all the other mattes, they blend really well. And yeah, I think this is a really pretty pink color story and these go very well together. I love pink eyeshadow. And yeah, this one I was very excited about. It is absolutely fantastic, one of my favorites. Alrighty, final thoughts. Honestly, I absolutely love these. Um, they are beautiful. I love that they have, they each have one foiled shade and three mattes. I think that's a really nice combo. The color stories are beautiful. This Choco Latte one, super beautiful. Grandstand, I'm so happy they did not change that color because it is so good. The pink one, gorgeous, absolutely love it. Same with the orange crush, love it. I am a little confused though. If you have this, please let me know what your eyeshadow says. I don't know if it's mislabeled or if this, you know, if this really is flamethrower or not. Not sure, but that's okay. I love it anyway, it's beautiful. And yeah, the green one is beautiful as well. Unfortunately, I don't have the fold shade in that but maybe I will get that. They do sell two others that I don't own. One that is like peachy, corally, and that one has in the spotlight in it, which is another foiled shade I love, and I already own it in the, in the nude palette. So that one is in that quad. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, here, I'll just swatch it so you can see that if you're interested. It's a really, really gorgeous peach metallic shade. So that is in the spotlight that is in one of the quads that I don't own. And then they also have a purple quad. I may get that one at some point too, because I love these. And Makeup Geek is definitely one of the best eyeshadow formulas, honestly, that I have in my collection. And yeah, these are beautiful. They work so well on the eyes. Like I said, all my whole eye look today, except for the inner corner, is matte shades from this. I love how the eye look turned out and I've been using these for weeks. They are fantastic. And to me, it seems nearly identical to the old Makeup Geek formula, which is perfectly fine because that was a really good formula. So yeah, let us know, do you have these or did you order them from the Makeup Geek website? I'm very curious. I don't need more eyeshadow, but after buying these, I love them so much. I want to buy more Makeup Geek eyeshadows, so yeah. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.